Hi everyone and welcome to the Brisbane Woman Online Masterclass Series where we're bringing you valuable business education directly to your computer screen wherever you are in the world. Now we've got quite a few new people on the call today so I'm just going to go through a few details about Brisbane Woman and we're a thriving community that promotes, educates and connects women in business and we've been running now for just over two years and have over 1500 members. Now we believe a success mindset and education are key to creating a winning business and Brisbane Woman can help you do this through our workshops, masterclasses and our newly launched online masterclasses also. Now our masterclass today is going to run for approximately 1.5 to 2 hours and we'll have extra time at the end for those who would uh, like to speak to our expert in more detail. So everyone, if you would have a look at the right hand side of your screen today, you'll see a, uh, sorry, a box where you can type in questions, which we'll be answering throughout the masterclass what we can, and as I said, there will be some at the end. So if you can just type in for me, hello, um, and that will let us know that you can hear me okay, and um, that you know where to type your questions in. Okay, so I'm presuming that means everyone can hear me okay, great. So um, just to remind everyone, we will be recording this masterclass today and sending a copy of that recording to you within 24 hours. Now I'd like to introduce our outsourcing expert today and this is Tyrone Shum. Now, I first approached Tyrone after listening to a webinar that he did with Gideon Shelwick on rapid video blogging. I was really blown away by Tyrone's expertise in this area um, and I was really impressed, I suppose, with the ease and practicality that Tyrone brings to outsourcing because I know it's an area that many small businesses find really overwhelming and they tend to shy away from even though they desperately need help with it and I know I certainly um, would was first hand in this with putting jobs on Elance and Odesk and just getting totally overwhelmed by the response and it ended up creating a lot more work than what I was expecting. So Tyrone is going to talk to us today about a lot of different things but um, most, most importantly is go through the ways that you can um, make outsourcing work for your business much more effectively. Now just to let you know, Tyrone started his first internet business in 2005 um, after, sorry, seven setting up an e-commerce website to sell dragon boat paddles. But like many of us, he ended up working over 60 hours a week on that business and realised that he'd got himself into a job in his own business and wasn't very happy about that. So feeling frustrated, Tyrone went out and looked for better ways to have an online business and that's where he discovered outsourcing. It was actually Tim Ferriss' book, The 4-Hour Workweek, that inspired Tyrone to take that step and within six months he'd reduced his working hours down to 10 hours a week. In 2009, after selling his dragon boat business, he started teaching people what he learnt about outsourcing and that's where he became known as the internet expert, sorry, the outsourcing expert. So what I'm going to do is change over to Tyrone now so he can start talking to everybody about, um, yeah, I suppose what we're going to go over today. Fantastic. Now, Tyrone, have you, you've got that beautiful. Yes. Thank you so much for inviting me onto the call, Kylie. It's a real <laughs> pleasure to be on and uh, yeah, it's, it's very exciting to be able to share with everyone. All about outsourcing. I, I guess just before we jump into the details of the outsourcing, I'd like to just probably find out from everyone if you can hear me clearly and also hear Kylie clearly. So with the just on the right-hand side where you've got your questions, just maybe put in a yes or no and make sure that you can hear me clearly. Otherwise, I've had some times where I've started a, a webinar and uh, no one can hear me or see my screen. So I just want to ensure that everybody is there. Excellent. All right. So getting responses and that's great. All right. Well, firstly, it's going to be very exciting. I, as I, as Kylie has mentioned, I really, really appreciate the really nice introduction and uh, it's a real pleasure to be on the call tonight to be able to share with you all about this. Uh, as most of you are probably uh, mostly in Australia, I'm also an Australian as well. I'm in Sydney, so we're all about on the same time and I, I can share with you quite a lot of things that are sort of related as well because then I can share from this point of view. As most of my clients that I teach outsourcing are mostly from the States, I've also taken a lot of information from there to be able to share with people uh, locally so that way I can 
give you some information from a, a Aussie perspective as well. All right, let's get the ball rolling then. Uh, let's jump into it then. And also, yeah. feel free if you do have any questions, just put them up on the right hand side and uh, towards the end of the webinar, we'll do our best to try and answer them for you as well. All right. So, what I want to do is just give you an overview of what we're going to be covering inside this webinar today. We're going to be talking, I guess, a little bit about myself, which I guess Kylie has already introduced me, but I'll, I'll give you a little bit more of a in-depth background and the reason why uh, outsourcing is something I'm really passionate to share with. Also, I'll talk a little bit more about the problem of running a, a, a business to be able to successfully turn a business that you'd be working 60 plus hours a week down to like 10 hours a week and something like I can share from my experience. Also, I'll be talking about why it's important to outsource your work and how you can leverage that. Also, once you've gone into outsourcing, talking about your work, you probably want to find people to help you outsource. This is where I'll show you where to find the virtual staff to be able to help you with that. Also too, I'll be sharing with you on how to hire and also pay your virtual staff. So the process of finding the virtual staff is only one aspect. To hire them and also to pay them and to get them to work for you is another aspect and we'll separate that and I'll show you in step-by-step -step detail on how that works. Furthermore, I'll share with you some powerful tools to help you with outsourcing too. The fact is, is that we're living in a society and a the global, global economy where we have access to these great tools that we can use and the majority of them that I'm going to be sharing with you are also free. So, you know, you don't have to go out and spend any money to buy any of these resources because they're all available on the net and you can use them to leverage them within your business as well. Furthermore, uh, I spoke with Carly and we decided we're going to give you guys all a bonus today, a bonus on talking about outsourcing video production editing and we didn't actually mention this at the beginning of the email you may have received. So this is just a little extra something that I thought would be really powerful because for people who are looking to tap into a market such as YouTube and doing videos with that and even if you decide to just do some video promotions with your own business, this is a great way to do it as well. And then also too, I'd like to share with you a very special offer at the end, only valid for 72 hours as well. All right, so Carly, is there anything you want to add before I jump straight into it? No, that's great introduction. Thanks, Tyrone. Okay, fantastic. All right, let's jump into it. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, if, As you know, Carly has sort of shared with you a little bit about myself. I was firstly started a dragon boat business back in 2005 and I was really, really involved in this in this inside this business and furthermore I was involved in the sport but the fact is is that I was working 60 hours plus a week and it just really brought me down I thought this is not right for a business to be able to generate income for me I should be able to have that kind of freedom and this this business that I had was a very niche business and it also did generate over six figures a year for me and I was thinking wow I'm making the money but I'm not having the time so what I did was um, I was just walking to a bookstore one day and I came across the book called The 4-Hour Workweek and I'm pretty sure it's a worldwide phenomenon that most people would have heard about that. If you haven't, definitely pop into a store. I know that Borders is closing down so you know try and maybe go in there and, and grab it but if you can't get it from Borders, maybe something like Dimmix or something like that to sell that but it's called The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss and it's a fantastic book because it shares with you how a lot of what they call the new rich can turn their businesses from having working 50, 60 hours plus a week down to be able to work 10 hours a week if you choose and, and create the lifestyle that you want. Now, what was happening was when I did that, a lot of people, particularly friends, family and associates started to realize that I had a lot of free time on my hands. So, they asked, asked me what was I doing and how did I do it? So, from there, I basically started sharing all this information with people and it was amazing because a lot of people also had the same problems I was having. They were working long hours. They didn't have people in their business to be able to tap into those expert resources, which I'll share it with you shortly. They were struggling with a lot of technical issues. They were struggling with getting your bookkeeping done. Just all the things that we do, do in our business on a day-to-day -day basis. And I, I also struggled with that and I couldn't be everyone and everything inside business. And that's where I came across and I started talking about outsourcing and teaching people. And I started sharing that with them and what was interesting was that they wanted the same thing for themselves. And that's where I became, started teaching online all about outsourcing and people just flocked to me to be able to ask me these questions. I was happy to share them on my blog and also through my courses as well. 
All right, so that's just a little bit about me. Now, why should you, I guess, listen to me and uh, talk, a, talk a little bit more about uh, outsourcing? Well, I guess I, I've been through the trenches, I've gone through and done this. I still have a team of people who I outsource to and I still run my business with an outsourced team to be able to allow me to do the things that I enjoy doing as well and have that freedom. So that's pretty much the reasons why I think uh, I can share this and also too, I've had a, had over 10,000 followers on my blog to be able to share this with. So there's a lot of people seeing all that. All right, let's just jump into the issues that we probably face in our business and I've discovered over the time that I've been teaching about outsourcing and uh, finding out from other people what their issues are, these are some of the common problems that we see. The first thing is that people face no time in business. Yes, you only have a certain amount of hours in a day. You know, if you're even if you're working 20 hours a day, which and getting only four hours of sleep, you still won't get everything done. And that's the thing that that I struggled at the beginning was that when I first started my business, I was working those long hours. I was thinking, why am I doing the same thing over and over again? Well, that's something that we all struggle in our business with no time. We get a lot of work. So imagine being in, inundated. You can you can get inundated from administration work such as your paperwork, managing your books and doing all that yourself. You can be inundated with packaging, sending out newsletters, talking to your clients, everything from the front end all the way to the back end of your business. And that's something that we also face as a business owner. And also too, we always need more help. But the thing is, it does come at a cost or come at a, a resource of time as well. And the thing I found and discovered was that you can hire people quite cheaply or low cost. Um, it's just a matter of finding the right people. But also too, to spend the time to teach them is also an issue that we all face. And if we're already struggling with our time and we have a lot of work on our hands, how do we get the right, right help to be able to help us without having to spend much time on training? So that's why I'm going to share with you in here where you can find those expert skills and help you with inside the business. Okay, so these are the things, as I said, there's actually quite a bit to do in our business and these are the main problems. Also too, if you want to make money quickly, it does take time and you can't do everything yourself. And the thing is, is that you need to leverage either using systems, which is in our day and age right now, our technology is getting so advanced that we can automate a lot of things from sending out emails to our customers to all the way processing automation and uh, getting information out to the people in the market. Or you can hire people to help you, which is what I also teach with you inside today's webinar, which is the outsourcing aspect. So there's a combination of both those things you need to look at. All right, let's have a look at why consider outsourcing because if you're like me who first started a business or if you've been running a business for whether it be a few months to many, many years, the first thing that you probably might be thinking, okay, is possibly, yes, make more money, which is to increase your profit margins, but also too, considering about hiring more people to be able to help you run your business. And you can either hire people locally here and it's fine to do that and uh, you know pay them a wage and salary and all those other things that come with the cost of hiring local labor or consider outsourcing your work to overseas. And what I define as outsourcing is basically finding another virtual assistant or virtual staff overseas in other countries that can provide you the same skill set here. I'm not talking about outsourcing one project at a time. I'm talking about actually hiring a team to be able to manage and run your business. And that's what I refer to outsourcing. And the reason why I suggest outsourcing is one, it saves you time because the fact is, is that once you start leveraging your time and outsourcing your work to other people overseas, you'll get a lot more time back. And that's what happened with me in my Dragon Boat business. Furthermore, you get instant access to resources and save money. Instead of, say, for example, training people uh, how to, uh, I guess, instead of training yourself and then redoing all the work yourself, you can find the right people out there who have already the skills to be able to do it. A great example that I talk about all the time is technical skills. Web developers are plenty out there. And if you're to spend, say, 30, 40 hours in a week to be able to train yourself how to do some fine, minor technical stuff, you might be able to hire someone for three three hours or something at 2 or $3 an hour to be able to get that done for you at a 
fraction of the cost and the time. So therefore, you save money instead because your time is actually valuable. Even though you may not have a value on it right now, if you add up the time that you spend, you're probably worth a lot more than 3 or $4 an hour. Furthermore, you can also get a lot more work done in less time and also watch your business grow as well too. So that is an advantage of outsourcing because you do see a lot of leveraging power. All right, now let's jump into the the sort of nuts and bolts of this. I've talked a lot about why outsourcing and the issues that we face in, in a business and also how we can look at taking outsourcing and applying for your business. Now let's take a look at how it can work and this is the strategy behind my business on how I outsource my business. Okay, so let me share with you the outsourcing process. If you have a look on the left hand side, you can see you and you also say for example a virtual staff. This process here is basically on the assumptions that if you have a virtual staff yourself, which is the business owner and also a bookkeeper, you can run a simple three-man process which I, I also run successfully as well too. Obviously, if you want to ex uh, expand out even further, you can have 10, 15, 20, hundreds of virtual staff team and the process are very much the same. These are the basic foundations of how an outsourced business can work and this is how I do it. Okay, so let's look at the first thing. To outsource anything, you've got a concept and a strategy and we'll use examples in here. Let's say for example, I want to get a website developed and I want someone to manage my website. I want someone to be able to uh, upload content onto the website. I want it to be marketed so get it out there into the market so that it can be found on search engines. I want them to do everything for me in terms of the technical side and I don't want to manage that myself because if I have to, I'd have to take my time away from other activities that I think are going to generate me income. So you take that first concept and strategy which is to building a website to managing to getting your website out to the market and promote it. Then the, the next step is to find your virtual staff who has those skills and as I said, I'm looking to build a website so I want to go out there and find like a web developer and I'll share with you shortly in the next part of the presentation where to find these people for a very, very low cost. You can hire these people for anywhere between $400 to $500 a month to help you do your web development process and manage your technical side. So once you've found your virtual staff, then you want to hire them, obviously offer them the salary, offer them um, what they are expected to do on a day-to-day basis and also set the expectations and furthermore, um, the, the actual structure and the training that's involved as well if you need to train them your processes. And this is what I was talking about, training and learning the processes. Obviously, every single business out there is different and every single system that you have is different. So if you want someone to come into your business, yes, they can set up your websites and they can set up and manage all that stuff but they still need to understand how your business works so that way they can complete the right things and get it onto your website and help you with the technical aspects. So you will still need to spend a bit of training and, and for them to learn and, and give them that time to be able to get the information right and understand it. Though, as a, to fast track that, in my, in my um, Mass Outsource Mastermind course which I teach, I also provide a lot of training videos as well. So if you are interested in that, I can also share that information with you at the end of the webinar too. Okay. So once they've been trained and they understand and see the processes of how your business work, then it's just a matter of giving them the projects and the day-to-day -day tasks, tasks that need to be completed on a day-to-day -day basis. An example as we're referring to is the website. Say they've built the website as a project, then what they need to do is to update the website on a regular basis. It might be on a weekly basis, it might be on a monthly basis that they need to update the website and those can be tasks that you set for them to do and once they understand what needs to be done, they can go out and get the information and upload it for you. Now, another task might be to promote and market your website. Things like those can be set and completed on a day-to-day -day regular basis. Okay, then obviously to track and to monitor and to make sure that they are completing the work, you want to have daily and monthly reporting. And those are the systems that I share with you inside this webinar on what to do because a lot of people have come to me and said, Tyrone, I've hired this person, they're doing exceptionally well 
And then after about three or four weeks, they just drop off the face of the planet. And it, it's something that I've heard on numerous of times and I know why and because they haven't asked them to send in an accountability report and they haven't been monitoring what they're doing. Because sometimes people just don't tell you that they are doing everything but aren't sure of what they're doing and they just decide to not say anything. And this is where you need to just keep in contact with them for the first few months and eventually over time once you build that trust in place, you can let them go off and do their own thing and to continue to run your business for you. Okay, a project management system. Now, this is I think the most key crucial element of any business. You need to have a proper system in place to be able to help you set up the automation in the systems. And if you remember at the beginning of this webinar, I talked about systems briefly, talking about how to be able to uh, use automation and systems in your business because if you don't have these systems in place, you'll be struggling to be able to leverage your time because at the end of the day, all these people are going to be coming back to you and say, what do I do? What do I do this? How do I do that? You want to have a project management system which has all that information off from your brain, dumped it in there so they can just refer back to that and won't have to be asking you questions as often as they need to. Okay, and then also too, the final part is paying your virtual staff and you can either have that sent out to your bookkeeper who will do that for you and I'll talk about uh, systemizing and also automating this process very much so on a monthly basis which is what I do with my team. And then finally, you've got the whole system in place which allows you to have increased profits and also automation. And that's hopefully, if you can see this whole workflow chart, that's how my outsourcing process works because at the end of the day, as a business, the goal is, is really to either increase your profits and also to, to set up the systems in place so that you can leverage a lot more whether or not you want to have more time to spend with your family or whether or not you want to have more freedom to do the things that you enjoy. It's really up to you and that's your end goal and that's what your processes, uh, I should say your, your dreams and your timelines of what you want to achieve. The whole process involved is really just to try and focus yourself to set up the outsource process so that you can have increased profits and automation. Okay, how are we doing right now, Kylie? Yeah, no, that's great, Tyron. I think that that's a good overview and for everyone who's watching, um, yeah, we're going to get down to the it just um, makes it seem a lot easier um, once we'll, we'll go through the process thoroughly with everyone. Yep. So, I'll hand it back over to Tyron. Okay. So, yeah, as I said, more profit, less work gives you freedom of time. All right, well, before we jump into the next part, the next part I want to share with you is talking more in depth of how to go about outsourcing and it's really a, a mindset thing because I think a lot of times people start off with thinking, okay, I'm just going to offload everything that I can't do myself or offload everything that's possible and they don't think uh, how to be able to separate the right tasks and to find the right people because there's no point <laughs> doing the same thing and not achieving in achieving the same results. What you want to do is change and look at your business and break it down to see how to make your business run a lot more efficiently, systemized and automatically. So that way you can have a, a smooth running system. And if you choose to walk out of the business and let it grow by itself, then you can do that. And this is the power of outsourcing. So what I want to introduce to you is the 80-20 principle. And a lot of people may have heard of this. You may have come across this. It's also referred to as the Pareto Principle. And basically what this principle uh, is, and I'll share with you shortly uh, how it applies to outsourcing, is roughly 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. So let me explain it in layman terms. Basically what it means is that any, any effort that you put in, normally about 20%, this is just an average across the board, 20% of your efforts that you put in will help you achieve 80% of the results. I'll give you a few examples. 20% of the time that you spend in your business to make money will achieve 80% of the income that you're going to generate from the business. Another example might be 20% of your staff might be performing 80% of your work and that's very common in large corporations. So, um, you know, you'll, you'll see that all across and this is something that Pareto, which is the, the person who coined this term, uh, saw roughly out all across the world and it seems to be a principle. So, if you take this into practice or you look into this from the perspective of outsourcing, what you need to think about is discovering what are the 20% 
of the activities that you do in your business that achieve 80% of the results. An example might be, you might be spending 20% of your time, um, or I should, I should probably say, you might be spending a majority of your time creating and updating your website. But is that actually generating 80% of your results? Most likely not. But if you are spending a majority of your time writing newsletters, speaking with clients, uh, making sales, then hopefully those sales that you're generating is generating 80% of your income. And that's what we want to look at when we start outsourcing is to split up those things. Things like administration, work, uh, paperwork, bookkeeping, all those things are very, very important. And I can, I can definitely guarantee you, I still need that in my business. And also, I'm pretty sure you probably do too. But the fact is, is that it doesn't generate any income. And that's those things that you can consider to outsource. Whereas if you're spending your time speaking with clients, making sales on a day-to-day -day basis and it's generating your income, which is the survival and uh, parts of your business to keep your business growing and profitable, those are the activities that you need to spend on. You can either outsource that if you decide to. You might hire a sales team to do that for you. But um, what we found is that with small business owners, they probably want to focus on those things and all the administrative tasks is the ones that we want to outsource to. And that's what I'll share with you inside the rest of this webinar is where to go about that. All right, so how does the 80-20 principle work in your favor? Basically, what you're building is something that you can leverage. And obviously, if you've got a business right now, and if you are currently successfully running your business, there is potential to leverage a lot more. And this is what I suggest to a lot of people is to break down your business. Take a look in, in depth on what you're currently doing right now that is generating income for your business and focus on those activities. The rest of those things that you're not generating any income from such as bookkeeping, websites, building, uh, market dropping leaflets to letterboxes, for example. I mean, I used to do this as well. Uh, spending time replying to emails, customer support, for example. Those things don't necessarily generate income, but you still need someone to help you. Consider putting that into a separate bracket that you could actually outsource to. And that's what I've, I've taught people to do is to share or to break these things down. Okay. So that's the 80-20 principle and that's what I wanted to just talk to you a little bit more about that mindset principle. It's very important that you understand that because if you don't have that mindset change at the beginning, there's no point trying to outsource because all you'd be doing is haphazardly sending out work to everyone and I've seen that happen in people's businesses when they've outsourced and they've gone out and hired 15 staff and then after about two months, they've spent all their money and haven't achieved anything. So you need to just, before you do start, just work on how to outsource or how to split your business before outsourcing. All right, so this is the nuts and bolts. Where to find virtual staff? I'm pretty sure a lot of people uh, have come across the question of, okay, now I've got all this separating my business. I've got all these things I want to get outsourced to. I've decided to use the 80-20 principle. Where do I find these right people? Now, there are many, many outsourcing websites out there. People may have already heard Lelance, Odesk, all those kind of websites are available out there and I don't recommend those as much. The reason why is because a lot of those people that are coming onto those websites are usually uh, freelancers or they're just specifically looking just for one-off projects and they do charge a much higher rate which is expected because once you're a freelancer, there's no secure income for them and that way they have to charge a higher rate. What I want to share with you is to go directly to the source. Now, being in Australia and um, if, you, if you've heard of, I'm pretty sure you would have heard of seek.com.au which is one of the largest job websites all across Australia. Seek.com.au is a massive job board or massive resume board and people go there every day to post up a job and also seek jobs as well. Now imagine if you could find a job board like that overseas from say like Philippines or India or any of those other countries. Imagine tapping into those staff. If you can tap into those directly, you can actually get yourself very, very low cost staff and also very, very competent and targeted staff for whatever you need to do. And that's what I'm suggesting. What I usually do is I search and I find people directly from the Philippines and that's where I teach people to go because one, Philippines is a very, very, very loyal and honest 
culture and country and they do exceptionally well and they're extremely, extremely well versed in any task they do, whether from, from virtual assistants to technical to anything. So you can definitely trust on that and I've experienced it very, very much. All right, let's jump into it. Let's have, take a look where to find them. So job boards is something that I recommended, something similar to seat.com.au and I'll share with you inside here as well which one to go to. You could also consider going to forums. Forums are a great place to find them. Say for example, if you're looking for a, a web developer, I keep using that as an example because I think a lot of people struggle with technical side of things. Uh, forums are a great place. If you can find people who are hanging out, talking about technical things, looking at developing websites, you most likely be able to find people who might be interested in jobs there. So you can check that out as well. Uh, friends and peers. Obviously, if you can outsource and find people who you trust and people who you re refer to and recommend it, then it's also a good option as well. And also lastly, a staff referral service and I'll share with you shortly how to get access to those. But basically, they go out there for you, you pay a one-time fee and they'll find the exact person that you want or as close as possible based on your job description and based on what you want them to do and they'll just charge a one-time fee and then you negotiate the wage and salary with the rest with with the new person that you decide to hire. Okay, let's have a look at some job boards. The first one that I'm going to share with you is called Virtual Assistant Board and this was created by a business owner for business owners. The person behind this one is an American uh, gal as they call it or girl <laughs> called Mary Kate from <laughs> Escaping the 9 to 5 and she became really frustrated because the fact was there's so many of the Elancers, Odesk boards out there and they didn't really provide very good information nor did they provide the specific type of jobs that people were looking for, the type of virtual workers. So what she did was she went out there and went and targeted using specific systems to target people in the Philippines and also to in a few other countries to be able to find the best virtual staff for them. And you can check it out at virtualassistantboard.com. Uh, I think it's currently still free to sign up to it. I'm not 100% sure whether or not Marin has decided to um, commercialize it as yet but she set this up and a lot only really underground marketers know about this and that's the reason why I'm sharing with you on this one. This has been a good site to go to. I've signed up before and found people on it and yeah, the people there are very, very competent and it's very targeted to exactly what you want. So that's a place that you can check out as well. Another one that I have been heavily using is called Best Jobs Philippines which is a, a awesome site in the Philippines that is just the same as like seat.com.au. So as I mentioned, if you're looking to find someone who is directly in that country, why not go directly to their job board? And this is Best Jobs PH which is uh, www.bestjobs.ph from the Philippines. And I found staff from here for around about, I think the, the one that I found most recently was about $200 a month as a full-time virtual assistant working 40 hours a week for me um, in, a, in the full months and stuff like that. And I've also been able to find programmers for around about $450 to $500 per month. So this is an excellent site for that. Now, just to let you know as well, this site does cost money to uh, sign up to. I think it's something like $30 a month or $45 a month and uh, 300 something dollars a year to be able to sign up to it. If you decide that you want to actually get access to that site, um, I can definitely let you know that I do have this bundled into a package that I've got within the special offer I've got at the end. So, you know, check it out at the end and see if that's valuable for you because you'll get some extra bonuses if you decide to use this site. But, you know, this is a great site that I've been able to find people and I, as I said to you, I found my virtual staff from there. Okay, the next... Tyrone, yes. can I just ask if you were going to um, just get one virtual assistant for example would you would you have to like sign up with the site for a year or could you just go and find someone over a month or two and then stop yes you can sign up for a year and then just cancel it as well uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure see that back then going back a few months ago they had a restriction on overseas visitors to access this site so if they determine that you're from mm -hmm. the United States or Australia or from other countries, they have to actually ban you because they look at your IP address. And the reason why was they found that there was a lot of people going to this site. Once the word got around that yeah. it was a very popular site, they wanted to just restrict it so that only 
people in the Philippines uh, who are employers could actually access this site to find their people. I'm not 100% sure if they've released it now. They may have opened it back up again. But as I said, I've had this account with Best Jobs PH for many years and so far I haven't had any issues with it. But when they um, when if you signed up new recently, you might not be able to get access to it. So that's why I said, um, just stay stay on to see that special offer that I can offer for you and you, might, you should be able to get access through my account to be able to use it as well. But um, yeah, okay, you can definitely great. sign on for one or two months to be able to use it as well. Okay, so now something a little bit different. Have you ever thought about getting only one task done for only $5? Well, Fiverr, which is F-I-V-E-R-R.com allows you to do that. Now, if you have simple, very small, minute tasks that you want to get done, you can go to this site which they only charge you maximum $5. I've had people tell me that they've gone to this site and paid $5 to get, I think it was 10,000 uh, subscribers onto their Facebook page just to simply click likes and stuff or just to create and mock up a logo design for $5. You can literally do anything on this site and it's been a very, very popular site. So if you're looking for the odd type of jobs, this would be probably the great one. Though the reason why I share this with you and as I've been emphasizing, I'd hire people uh, full-time or part-time if possible from this site, you could actually go in there and ask if these people are looking to hire and work for you. You know, if they're willing to do things for $5, I'm pretty sure they'd be interested in working for you for, for full wage if they are looking for it. So, consider that and uh, have a look at the site as well. Now, <laughs> if you're time poor, then this solution is for you. Basically, if you don't want to go out there, hunt for people, look for it, let the other person do it. And this is... a a site that I highly recommend to get someone to find it for you. It's called Get Virtual Star Finder. And this has uh, been set up by my good friend directly from the Philippines. He lives in the Philippines. He's got over 200, I think it's 250 virtual staff right now in his own office who works for him in his corporate company. But he goes out as well to, to help you find virtual assistants or virtual staff that you need. So if you want to check out the service, just go to getvirtualstarfinder.com and uh, Chris Ducker is his name. He's he's a British guy. Very very nice to talk to. I've spoken to him on many occasions, and we work together very very closely as well. And basically, he has his team there that will just go out and find a virtual assistant or virtual staff for you straight away. So if you say I want to look for a web developer, and you give them the criteria, how much you're prepared to spend, he'll go out and find someone to match those criteria for you. And I think currently. Um, don't quote me on this. I think he's charging $350 once off fee to be able to find that virtual staff for you. So if you hire someone full time, that's only like one month of wage and it's like a very, very low cost to be able to do that for you and you'll get a, a tremendous value. So that's something that I, I've used numerous occasions because you know, as my team has expanded, I've decided to take that route of letting someone else do the work for me and find the people and then I just hire them and get them started. So that's that's another option for you. But if you are on a budget, the other options I've just shared with you are also great options to try too. Okay. So you might be wondering now, how much should you be paying a virtual staff once you've hired them on board? And there are various different uh, pay rates for different services that you're looking for. And I'm only talking about hiring people full-time or part-time. I usually try to avoid to look for people who are contractors for one-off projects or a few projects because, yeah, the reason why is because once you train them and they know your system, you don't want to lose them. You want them to stay in your business to work for you. So I'll share with you how much you should be providing or paying your virtual staff. And as I said, I specifically focus on the Philippines and this is just a little table to show you the average virtual staff that you might be looking to pay. Let's say you're looking for a virtual assistant. If you're looking to hire one full-time, you can pay anywhere between $300 to $350 a month or part-time $180 to $200 a month. Now, from experience, I've, as I said, I've found one for around about $200 a month and that's really going on the low end in terms of um, how to be able to find someone and, and basic. But I currently hire my full-time virtual assistant for like I've got another one in my business for $340 a month US. So, you know, for Australians, we're pretty much on par with the US dollar at the moment. You won't see much difference in terms of price but that's how much I pay them at this point in time. Article content writers, full-time, you'll be looking at about $350, part-time, $200, $250 a month. 
Now, if you're looking for SEO specialists, people who can optimize your website, market your website, do a lot of things that are required for search engines, you can look at about up to maximum about $400 a month. And it's I've been able to find people like that as well. Now, web developers, which is technically a very, very specific skill which allows them to create and develop websites for you, you'd be looking anywhere up to about $450 a month. My web developer that I use, I pay them roughly about $500 for one and $500 and I think it's $40 a month for my full-time web developers and they, they do a various range of tasks for me on my websites, particularly focused on building and creating websites for clients as well too. So imagine if you if you are a web development business like I also have an arm in my business, I charge my clients around about $5,000 for one website. If we can say get two websites through a month and we pay our full-time web developers for that, you're only spending about $500 to $550 a month just for one website. So if you've liked everything that I've shared with you and the outsourcing webinar, and if you've liked everything that you see in the, the way my style and teach, this is something that I can help you with and... Um, I can assist you with inside my, my course, this special offer that I mentioned at the beginning, assist you with finding the right people for your business because if you're struggling to do it, there's obviously options here that I can share with you on how to do it and where to find the right people. I can help you implement your systems as well and I've shown you exactly what systems I've used but if you want the step-by-step -step on how to do it, there's videos on those as well. And furthermore, I'll guide you on how to maximize your profits within your business as well using this unique system that I've got. So like, what I like to do is present to you a special offer only valid for the next 72 hours and you can access to my Mass Outsource Mastermind program which I had over a couple of hundred of people who've gone through and graduated and successfully completed the program and now outsourcing and as you can see, uh, Grant is one of my case studies that I've had successfully complete Mass Outsource Mastermind and I've had numerous students with those as well. And actually inside my program, I show you some case studies as well. So let me jump over to show you actually inside the Mass Outsource Mastermind so that way you can see uh, with exactly what it is. This is in actual fact the Mass Outsource Mastermind members area and these are some of the information that you can see that's up here. You've got the forum, you've got the toolbox which shares with you all the resources and step-by-step -step guides of what we use. Here's a course outline. Also, if you click on more content here, which you see, and I'll share with you in a moment uh, what I was talking about, you actually see interviews with experts. You also get live case studies of all the people who have completed Mass Outsource Mastermind with how they succeeded as well. And there's just so much content in here. As you can see, real life outsourcing case studies, interviews, any of my webinars that we have there, uh, success book summaries, the money attractor videos which shows you how to generate passive income through outsourcing and uh, much, much more. So that's pretty much inside Mass Outsource Mastermind at a glance that you can see here. And I've also got an active forum that's over here as well too that you can see that there are people asking questions and so forth and all those kind of things. So basically, if you are interested in this, as I said, Mass Outsource Mastermind access is available just for the next 72 hours. And on top of that, what you get inside is a monthly group coaching webinar with support and I run these every month and just like now, I'm on a webinar which I present something as well for a short, short amount of time at the beginning and we do open it up for questions and answers at the end and you get to ask me questions as well too. So you still get that one-on-one -on -one mentoring as well. Uh, I provide as well training videos for your virtual staff that way Instead of you having to create these training videos that I mentioned as before such as sending out emails, creating email systems, uh, setting up for example marketing, uh, advertising, using search engine optimization, all those kind of techniques, these are the training videos I've given to my virtual assistant which is all part of the program that you get as well too. And also you can get access to additional resources and other valuable tips. So I've mentioned to you real life case studies, interviews with experts, you also get uh, access to all the resources that I use in my business such as the ones I've just shown you today and much, much more. Now, what are the benefits to you? If you decide to join Mass Outsource Mastermind today, you get access to a project management system. I've suggested to you Basecamp HQ but I also give you a free project management system which is valued at $500 and that's the one that I've been using in the past called Projects to Us and this is just set up 
straight straight up for you. All you have to do is just simply access the system and use it. It doesn't cost you a cent to use and give that to your virtual staff. And all the training videos also provide it for that as well. You also get access to the mastermind forum, which is just specifically for members. And there are people in there asking questions, sharing the successes and also getting a lot of benefit out of that. Plus also too, I give you over $1,000 worth of bonuses as well too, as, as you've seen over there. Um, also, if you want to check it out, what I'm planning to offer for you right now, just for this uh, special webinar that I've done with Carly right now, is I'm offering a $1 trial for two weeks. Normally, it's $97 per month, but for the first two weeks, you can trial and access Mass Outsource Mastermind just to see if that's for you. And then from there, it's $97 a month and it covers your full membership there. Now, to get this special offer, all you have to do is go to massoutsource.com forward slash BW and you'll see you'll see also a, a sales page there, a, a page where there's a video explaining to you exactly in depth of what you get inside and furthermore, you can see a breakdown of exactly what's inside the course as well. So you, if, I, if you are interested in that, simply just go to massoutsource.com forward slash BW which stands for Brisbane Women and um, yeah, as I said, only valid for 72 hours which the doors will be closing or that link will be closed off around about Thursday from today. Okay. Great. And uh, yeah, so is there any, should we open up for questions and answers as well, Carly? Yeah, sure. I haven't got any more questions come through my end, but um, yeah, has, if anyone's got any questions for Tyrone, um, please send them through. Let me just have a look to see. Okay, so yeah, we've got. Um, if you've got questions, feel free to ask them in this call, and uh, most well, more than happy to help you answer them as well. And if you do have any other questions about the course, and you'll you'll want to find out a little bit more about it, just uh, shoot me. You can shoot me an email directly as well, which I'll provide um, for Carly to send over to you as well. Okay. Yep, yeah, that'd be great. Fantastic. Um, yeah, it looks like everybody's pretty happy with this. I hope that uh, we've been able to, to help you and cover everything that they can for outsourcing. And I highly yeah. recommend if if you can, take action right now to outsource if you can and if it's relevant for your business because it will help you and help you leverage everything that you have. Absolutely. Um, I think, you know, everyone, small business owners are often really overwhelmed and stressed out and I just think this is such an amazing resource to be able to tap into, something that um, you know people didn't have a long time ago when you had to do everything yourself. So um, it's really important that I suppose when we learn about these things, we take advantage of them so that we can spend our time growing our business and generating profits. So yeah, it's. Um, I think what you've gone through today, Tyrone, has is, is been really thorough. So I'm not so surprised we haven't got heaps of questions coming through, um, because I, I presume a lot of people will probably want to go away and maybe, um, you know, just have a have a think about all the information that you've got, because you've really shown them there how to set up that whole outsourcing function, which is fantastic. And I think um, the offer that you're making available uh, um, is fantastic as well, because. I think everyone will have got a good understanding of your style and your personality and um, you know there's no doubt about what you the sort of value you provide for people so I, I imagine in you know your program as well that you're providing above and beyond that so thanks Tyrone you've done a great job today <laughs> thank you so much Kylie it's been a pleasure and uh, had a lot of fun as well to share this with everyone and yeah if you do want to watch this again the replay is going to be available as well afterwards so hopefully you can um take the information away, apply it and uh, take it further with your business. Yeah, sounds fantastic and I'll make sure I send the link out um, to everybody because um, we've got a few people who obviously weren't able to come on the call who are really interested in it as well. So um, yeah, I'll make sure that they watch the webinar by Thursday and have the opportunity to uh, take up the offer as well. So um, yeah, I think Tyrone, we might leave it there for now unless there's anything else you wanted to go through. That's it. Well, I just want to say a big thank you for taking the time out. I know it's the evening already. It's getting close to 7 o'clock here <laughs> and I know that's about that same time as well up there. So thank you so much for taking your time out, uh, especially family time right now 
And I do hope that the information that you learn from tonight, you can take away, apply and uh, use it to your advantage because there, there's just so much opportunity out there to leverage your business with outsourcing and uh, make the most out of it. So thank you again. Okay. Thanks so much, Tyrone. Thank you, everyone.